Did I hear that it, right? Modern control scheme gives you the supers with just one button? Is that... Is that true? Yeah? Holy shit. They're really trying to bring FGC... They're really trying to bring people into the FGC that are brand new. I think that's fine. Yeah, but it's nerfed. Oh, okay. So it does less damage. It's 20% less damage. Okay. That's a fair trade-off then. Pro players are considering using modern because time advantage and reactions. Oh, very interesting. That... Well, that's very... That is actually super interesting. That makes a lot of sense. I still think classic will... Like, at the absolute highest level, I still think there's no way a modern... Uh, a modern setup will beat classic if you're doing 20% less damage. But that's interesting. I, I see why any like why someone would even toss around the idea. It's so good that even the Once they get used to the game, they can switch to classic. Well, that's it's, it's not that a pro player's <laughs> like they don't need to get used to the game. The reason you do it is because you can have a faster reaction, so you, we don't have to do the full input. I, I'm, it would be my guess. Wow, they gave it a 9. Holy shit. That'd be my guess. Does Street Fighter have a story mode like Mortal Kombat? Uh, not not really. Not like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> no. But, but it does have a, like, story mode. But don't expect anything like Mortal Kombat. All these fighting games and everyone just forgot about Multiversus. God, it's so sad, man. All Multiversus needed to do was just a little more tender loving care. Fucking still never got the ranked mode. Still. Still. Like, even even after, like, right before its death throws, never put in the ranked mode. Like, they, they really dropped the ball on it, man. Such a shame. Planning to get a Street Fighter player for Moist. I tried very hard. I wanted to have a Moist Esports rep in the first Street Fighter tournament. They announced the whole roadmap for the Capcom Cup, all that. I wanted to have a Moist Esports rep right off rip, but legitimately everyone in the top 10 is signed. So we'll just have to play it by ear. Maybe some unknown or some lower ranked player just takes it by storm and we can swoop in. You ever see that Tekken player, Rang Chu, who managed to climb competition with the worst character? Put some goddamn respect on Panda. But yeah, Rang Chu is awesome. I know exactly what video you're talking about. Did he genuinely like the character, or was it just a challenge? No, I think he actually really likes the, the character. I think he's just a big fan of Panda in general. Is there some Azure and Mino in Step Bro? Is it the Street Fighter the only FGC with notable prize pools or is Tekken supported too? Tekken supported, but I don't think their prize pool is as big as um, Street Fighter. But it is supported, which is nice. Favorite Tekken character? Eddie. Well, my favorite Tekken character is Yoshimitsu, but the only one I play is Eddie. I just spam the stupid stances. Get him with the helicopter kicks. You gonna get in the Mortal Kombat 1 esports scene? Yep. I wanna be in every major FGC. Every single t major title, really. I fucking love watching fighting games, man. They're so fun. They're so goddamn fun. How's Moist Apex doing? Absolutely unreal. So there's been like some uh, tournaments going on recently before the major, as well as international scrims, and Moist Apex has taken first in like the last three. Like stomping. Like actually fucking stomping here. Let me pull up a couple. It's been nuts. Like here's the most recent one. This was the international scrims. This one wasn't like a tournament, just scrims, but, oh, blocking it, uh, here, I'll just keep it here so you can still see it. 
but another big moist esports dub, 92. Absolutely slapped. And then right before that was the um, uh, the APAC North versus APAC South tourney. Another absolute slapping session. So even before, the, like we want our region. So we're locked into the major, the majors in July. But even before then, or even these tournaments before then, our squad is still going so fucking hard. Was it fun getting tips from insane pros? I haven't utilized that at all. Like, cause I'm just not good enough. Like I'm, I'm average at every single game I play. Like average or just below average. I want to get good at them. It's just so hard. So like melee, for example, I want Zane or Moki to train me. So that way I can at least be middle of the pack melee. Ultimate, I'd say I'm already close to middle of the pack, maybe below middle of the pack. But yeah, eventually I do want to actually put some time into all of these so I can be above middle. You remember when we were good at Apex? Of course I remember when we were good at Apex. We were so nasty. We were so fucking nasty. God, I was so unbelievably good at Apex for the first, like, season. Well, before they even had the seasonal model and then the first season. Things of Prime Plasma. And the Resub ver Versosa, or, yeah, Versosa. And the Bits Modest. The thing is, like, when I'm spectating the games, let's use Smash, for example. When I'm watching Light play, I, as a spectator, can pick up on the habits of whoever Light's playing, and I know what's coming as a spectator, but when I get into the game... I, like, my brain doesn't function the same way anymore. It's the same way in chess. Like, when I watch someone play chess, I was able to see, like, tactics and moves they should do, but when I play it, I can't see the same shit. I don't know what it is. It's just like when I'm in the seat playing it, I can't process it the same way I do as a spectator. And it must have something to do with, like, nerves. Well, probably not even nerves. Probably just, like, a lot more on your mind when you're the one actually playing it. Your age is too big. I used to think that was the case. Like, I always, like, for the longest time now, I felt like once you get to, like, my age, 28, you're probably too old to be a pro gamer in a lot of these. But then I still look at, like, the top of some some fighting games, or even Counter-Strike. And there's players that are my age and older that are still top. Like, absolutely still top. So I don't think it's an age thing. Billy Mitchell's still in his prime. <laughs> you can do anything. True, Billy Mitchell's still at the top of his game. Inspiring.